Welcome back to Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth. So if your description is advised, but if you're not into that or weird in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our town fondly. As I say pondly, I think I said pondly. Remember our, remember our time fondly, but also pondly. I don't even know what the f that means. Anyway, welcome to New Makeup Monster's Bingo. If you are new here, welcome. Hi. I don't know why this is your first video of mine, but you're going to hate me. Anyway, <laughs> this idea was created and crafted by my wonderful friend, Imperfectly M. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, and except instead of just talking about the makeup products, I usually get faced because I have one or two or seven adult libations, and I usually talk a lot of or I love things incessantly, sometimes both. And if we're lucky, a drunk purchase is made. <laughs> Anyway, I call upon the products as if I'm playing bingo. I have a bingo card. Again, alcohol, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Or it could be really annoying. It depends. Sometimes it's both. Anyway, that said, here are the makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my bingo card. And without further mother ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Cheers, y'all. Okay. Uh All right. Hey. <laughs> so I'm filming this at 10 o'clock at night. It was a long day. Usually I like to film this a little bit earlier. Work got late and it doesn't even, it, you don't even care and I don't even feel like telling you, okay? So anyway, <laughs> it's been a day. Um, So I didn't have any makeup on most of the day because I looked like a little rat behind my computer working. Um, And then I was like, oh, I can't look like that. I have to make a video for the interwebs. So I put a fresh coat of paint on and then I said to Alex, hey, can you just make me, make me a drink? Make me a drink, but like, you know, don't like put me out but like make me a drink. And obviously he wants me to be comatose because that's what <laughs> that's what this is. I'm drunk, I'm drunk. <laughs> you know, every time I think it's gonna get better, just mm -mm. I am drinking Tito's vodka because I just love vodka. And I'm drinking a little bit of Liquid Death Grim Leafer, which if you've never heard of Liquid Death before, stop what you're doing. Go check out Liquid Death. They make wonderful, wonderful tea beverages and also seltzers, but I don't drink seltzers, so I don't care. But teas, it's lovely. Also not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored, by the way. I think they follow me, though. Or they used to, anyway. Maybe they got their together and they're like, who the f is this bitch? Which I mean, no, they still follow me! Ah, everybody go at them. Thank you. <laughs> they need to be a sponsor. We love money here. Okay. All right, let's just, I'm Whatever, whatever, y'all. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm tired. I'm tired. And I am excited. Also not excited because some makeup is kind of ugh. But then some makeup is like, ooh. So we'll see where we land tonight. And the first one is, where are we going to go with today, kids? Oh, okay. Um, This is a new brand, I think. No, maybe not. Well, it's a new brand to me. And that's all that matters because I'm important. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm nobody. This is the brand Naked Sundays from Australia, and they're not at Target. Oh, that's 
Cool, okay. So there are, looks like two or three products. What is this? It's Mineral Glow Serum Drops. Ooh, Pearl Illuminating and Bronze. Oh, what the Okay, anyway, so you have SPF 50 Cabana Clear, which is a water gel serum for $20.99, a clear and invisible SPF, beach gel serum with no silicone. <gasps> Sign me the f up, that sounds wonderful. Sometimes silicone products can f me up, so I'm kind of excited that there is no silicone, so that's kind of really cool. This uh, apparently combines the lightness of gel, the hydration of a cream with a semi matte finish. Usually, when it's semi matte, it can go either way, it could be either way too drying or just perfect. So let's Hope that it's perfect. So this one has skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid, cockadoo, plum. I don't know what that is. It sounds delicious. Vitamin E and vitamin C. Okay. Then we have the Cabana Cream, which is a hydrating sun. Oh, maybe this is what I need. Okay. Hydrating sunscreen moisturizer, also $20.99. This is a lightweight daily moisturizing face sunscreen featuring powerful SPF 50 plus. Love that. Leaving zero white for all skin tones and types. Okay. It has a dewy glowy finish. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Hey, that sounds great. Oh wait, I'm sorry. And then there's another thing. And then there's Cabana Glow. Oh, okay, okay. So that's the pictures of Cabana Glow. And it comes in three different tints. Bronze, Illuminating, and Pearl. I'm gonna assume that I would be Pearl because I am uncooked chicken. All right, so that's gonna be coming soon to March 3rd. Living in this hole <laughs> that I lovingly love to call Florida. Um, I need SPF. I need a lot of SPF because you see me, I blend into the walls most of the time. So without SPF, I'll die. So I always look to try new things out. And this is something that is kind of interesting. Plus, I love any excuse to go to Target and spend money on I don't need. Yay for that. Um, but yeah, this looks good. I love it. Although I don't love the photos because it's very like cummy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just too like, ooh, like, ooh. I was about to say weekend. I, I'm not even going to say that out loud. I'm not even going to say that out loud. Because <laughs> I realized how f***ed up that sounded. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. 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 <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. All right. Weekend at any... You, listen. Okay. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll level with you. First word I wanted to say was daddy. I was like, that sounds weird. Okay. Second time I try to say it, I was about to say uncle. I don't know why it's all incestual in my brain, but there we are. Okay. <laughs> Point is, it looks cummy and I'm just excited. So I'm going to go check this out in Target. I hope it's at my local Target. That would be great. Um, But I'm actually really uh, excited. Oh, wait. What's today's date? Today's, when am I filming? It's the 6th? Oh, bitch. It's already here. March 3rd. Bitch, it's here. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna let you know how this is. So far, all the SPFs that I have been trying as of late have been wonderful. So here's hoping that we find another one. Plus, I really do love the price point. I think that's really good. I'm gonna shut the f up. <laughs> I'm going to see anything more incestuous and I'm probably gonna have to bleep all of that. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Okay, anyway, we're gonna call this a new brand, even though I know, I know, I know. Technically, right, it's not a new brand because it's from Australia, but it's a new brand here. <laughs> so I will say new brand, new brand. Next. Okay, I already bought it, but listen, hear me out. Okay, hear me out, okay? I kind of had no intention of buying this. I really didn't. Because when I saw it, I was like, okay, like it's it's fine. I love it. <laughs> I love a good and moment. I love a basic bitch moment. But I was like, do I really need it? I started looking at my collection. I'm like, there are so many uh, neutral palettes I have. Like I, this is one I don't need. I don't need this one. Then I got a text message <laughs> from Sephora and I, hate them. I really do because they text me like really sexy things like, hey, did you know you can get this if you just click open the app, big boy. And what did I do? I stopped what I was doing and I clicked open the app and I saw, oh man, available today. Mario by Mario Bell at $50. Okay. And I was like, next thing you know, it was in my cart and I was like, ooh, I have $15 of Sephora credit card coupons. Okay. And, and, and. and then I dropped my total down and I was like, you know, I feel comfortable. I feel good about this one. <laughs> $50, not so much, but $15 off? Absolutely. So I bought this. I know, I know, I'm a clown, I know. Are we surprised? Not really. And you know what the other thing is really annoying too? I don't even understand why I picked this up other than Sephora just getting me. <laughs> Granted, I was not having the best day this morning. And so I mean, Sephora knew. Sephora knew, like, you know what's gonna make you happy? A little bit of retail therapy. <laughs> but 
no, seriously, I don't know why I picked this up because every makeup by Mario palette that I've ever owned, I've hated thoroughly. I've hated. I love everything else this man has put out. I love the complexion products. The foundation's amazing. The concealer, eh, a bit, a bit, not bad, but not my favorite. They make one of the best bronzers, cream bronzers I've ever tried. Their blushes are good. Their highlighters are good. Like I, fuck, I love them. But when it comes to eyeshadows, they kind of suck ass. <laughs> Just, they're the worst. They never last. But I will say though, the mattes from the first palette I tried to the second palette, they got better and the shimmers were kind of garbagey, right? Or was it the other way around? I don't know. I don't remember because I decluttered that palette. So here's hoping that I don't declutter this one, but I kind of feel like that I am. But listen, my mom's coming into town uh, next week. So uh, worst case scenario, if I hate it. I'll just be like, here, Ma, go, ahead, go forth. Go forth, child. Take it with you because there are some pretty basic bitch colors in here. Um, but she's sleepy. She's snoozy. And I love every second of it. But it's a thing that we just don't need. And especially at $50, it's like, oh, it's a lot. Um, I actually kind of want to compare this to, I think it's a Jason Wu. I think I have a Jason Wu palette that I picked up from Target. I don't know how much it was. Like, couldn't be more than $20. I don't even think it was that much. And it kind of has like a similar kind of a vibe to it. So I kind of want to see like, I don't know, like a shade for shade, like what we're working with. Because the Jason Wu stuff is actually really good. Like really, really good. I got it. I bought it. I'm a clown. It should be a clown purchase, but I already bought this bitch, so I have no willpower. Anyway, uh, next. Oh, bitch, put this all over my body okay i all right listen when it comes to road i have a soft spot for them and i know people don't like road because of Haley bieber or the f whatever i don't know blah, blah blah i don't give i'm too old i don't care okay um <laughs> i just don't i just don't care but anyway this brand makes some good products and i it's it, it, i feel like such an hole <laughs> because i feel like they're definitely not designed for me okay some am i middle-aged hold on wait Google. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey, what is middle age? How old is middle aged? Between the ages of 40 and 60. Okay. Okay. I'm not middle aged yet. Okay. But I'm close. I'm on the cusp. Okay. <laughs> Siri, we're done. Thank you. Okay. No, can you stop talking? Anyway. <laughs> Like, don't f with me right now. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I'm on the cusp. Um, so technically, they're still not meant for me. These products are meant for someone that's like 18 to 24. I know that. Okay. I know that. I see me. I recognize me. Okay. I recognize it. I know what I look like. <laughs> there are mirrors in this house. Okay. I'm not like going blind out there. I know what I look like. <laughs> I shouldn't be liking this road. I know. But it's so good though. The moisturizer, the little cums. I don't know why everything is cummy today, but the little cum serum thing. I already bought backups of things. The, the stupid lip thing. It's all good. They're all so good. And it pains me how much I like dick ride for this brand. I really do. Because I think when they initially came out, I was like, but then I tried it and I was influenced by Hot Mess Tom, okay? I saw them have something for, and I think they were influenced by Khaki. I believe that's what happened. And when I saw Tom have it, I said, if Tom has it, then mama needs to get it. And that's kind of how I fell in love with Road. So at the end of the day, I blame Tom for this, okay? <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I do. And I cannot wait to put this on my face. So the fact that they're coming out with a makeup product, oh bitch. I've never been more excited in my whole life. So we don't know anything other than these are blushes. That's it. It's a pink, baby pink blush, and she looks annoyed, and I love every second of it. I love it. Love, love, love it. So when this comes out, I'm going to be an asshole and definitely be one of the first ones to pick it up because if it's anything like the that they're putting out, I am going to be head over heels. So yeah, I know. I am a clown. It's unsubscribe. <laughs> If this is the reason that you unsubscribe, damn, it's been great knowing you. <laughs> Bye. But no, um, we're going to say put it on my face because I want you to, I, I want you to put it on my face. I want you specifically, Suzanne, put it on my face. What? I think it could be kind of hot. Okay, next. Oh, looky, looky. It's house labs. <laughs> I don't know why an accent was needed, but okay. So this is the revamp, revamped, 
Oh, bitch. I didn't realize they were revamped. Oh, no, it's just the packaging. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that, no, I knew that. No. No, bitch. This is all new, whole new product. Okay. Okay, all right, so this is the Revamped Color Fuse Blush Powder. $32 a piece, six shades. Two of the shades are new shades, which is, that's great. Revamped packaging for easier shade selection, which that is probably one of my biggest complaints about House Labs, is as much as I like their packaging, which I like their packaging for complexion products, right? So like the foundation, the concealer, the powder, that makes sense. Everything else is like the same. I don't love that. I it just, no, it's kind of hard. You have to like keep flipping. I know it's such first world problems, right? I gotta, I gotta flip over my blush and look at the name a bit. Like I sound like such a I know that, okay? But I'm just saying, if I could just like see what the color is on the outside, I'm gonna reach for that more than having to flip something over because it's, you know, so dainty in my wrist. <laughs> anyway, so these are revamped. <laughs> Talc-free blush with fermented arnica that helps reduce redness bitch yes and hydrating squalene and hydraberry also formulated with vitamin c and e so the new shades are fire moon and french rosette and you have watermelon bliss hibiscus haze dragon fruit days pomelo peach i like this i love this i think it's really pretty i love the packaging so much i love the packaging here's the deal though this is something that i don't think i need right now i think when the sephora sale is literally just like a month away i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hold my together and i'm just gonna wait to buy this on sale at the 20 percent discount that makes it a lot more attractive and the reason for that is is because i now granted this is a completely revamped formula right so like i don't know i might love it or hate it but their existing formula it's just okay like the blush is fine but it's not something that like i really reach for like it's good but there are other things that i love in my collection so much more and i'm just not giving it the love that i should be giving it so maybe this revamped formula will be the thing that makes me, I don't know, just fall in love with them and just be super excited about it. But right now it's like, I like it. I like everything that is going on and I feel like they're not gonna f it up. I'm gonna hope that they don't f it up even though I feel like this should be, please don't f it up. But I'm gonna be nice right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna say, get this, I'm gonna buy this on sale because that's what I'm gonna do. Plus I need that French rosette shade. That is a pretty ass shade and fire moon. I also need to get dragon fruit days. Actually, I don't need that one, but I kind of do though. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> but this is cute. I love the packaging. And finally, the packaging that makes the most sense. And I'm curious to see if that is going to translate to, I guess in the bronzers, you wouldn't really be able to do that, right? Because how many times you're gonna buy like a lot of bronzers? You're really just gonna do that with blushes. You buy multiple blushes, not so much bronzers. So I was kind of hoping that it would have been kind of cool to have a revamp packaging for those other products, like the highlighters as well as the uh, bronzers, but I guess it just doesn't really make much sense to do that. So blush it is. Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, I like it. And we're gonna say I'm gonna buy it on sale because this bitch is gonna buy it on sale. And yeah, I can't wait. Next. I hate myself so much for this one, but I just can't help it, okay? <laughs> I just fucking can't, I can't help it. So this is currently not available here, but if it does become available in the US, I may pick this up. And I and I know I hear you, I hear you. You're saying, why? What is wrong with you, you dumb bitch? But I cannot help it. I don't know why this two-faced is like, it's doing something to me. It's like, oh, bitch, like I, looking at you for the first time it makes no sense but anyway so in europe you have the born this way mini eyeshadow palette okay there are two six shade eyeshadow palettes inspired by the beauty of real skin tones you have warm ember nudes which are our natural warm tone nude hues and then you have a cold smolder nudes which are natural cool tone nude the um cold smolder nudes is like oh i am like loving every second of it i love this i love it I hate how much I love it. When I think about the Born This Way eyeshadow palette, I ultimately, ultimately decluttered it. I'm a healthy declutterer, okay? If I don't like something, it's getting the out of here, okay? There's some things though that I kind of hold on because either for like some weird sentimental reason or whatnot, but for the most part, I'm a healthy declutterer. Nowhere else in my life, <laughs> but decluttering I'm super healthy with, okay? And I know a majority of my Too Faced palettes, I did declutter with the exception of actually and which is so funny and like what are the odds but i actually have the italian spritz palette on my eyes today i love that palette. i'm ashamed how much i love that palette it's so it's so good it's so good 
I love it. So when I see this, it kind of like I don't know, gives me the vibe of it. And even though, actually, no, it doesn't give me the vibe at all. But it just makes me think like, well, I like the Italian spritz palette. <laughs> I might like this one. I know. I feel like such an asshole saying these things out loud. I recognize that, okay? I understand. All right, I know. I'm going to hell. I get it. I can't wait to have a fierce eye look. <laughs> As I'm rotting away. Uh, anyway, I love this. I love this so much. It's so stupid. It's like nudes. How fing original. It's the same sh over and over again. It kind of is something that technically will never die, but I am so into it. <laughs> into it it's actually kind of funny because like looking at the models photos in this the first of all the one girl looks like she's being held <laughs> held hostage like you say you love this palette otherwise you will never see your family again that's what she looks like tell me i'm wrong no okay the second one you're like now make it sexy <laughs> like, she's just like that's weird third girl she's like i d d this is not what i signed up for <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. And then she was like, oh, okay, you're going to kill my whole family. Okay, great. Smizing. That's what this looks like. But I still love it though. I can't help it. I still love it y'all. Okay. Call me a clown. Call me what you will. I just, are we surprised? No, you shouldn't be surprised. If you've been a long time subscriber and you know how dumb I am, <laughs> you know that you could tell me something's too hot and I'm still going to put my hand on the goddamn stove. I just want to see if it's hot. Okay. I don't learn my lesson. Case in point, the makeup by Mario palette. Okay, so like, I get it. I get it. Um, but I love this. And I'm going to call it a clown purchase because when this does come, it, I hope it comes to America. If it does come to America, I'll buy it first day. Just to prove a point of how stupid, stupid I am, I guess. I thought I was gonna say something really like thought provoking and then what came out of my mouth is stupid. I am on my way to getting up. I love this. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm buying it. Clown purchase, next. Ooh, what is with all the like this cummy stuff? I don't understand. <sighs> you know, <laughs> This dripping and all this kind of like ugh, sexy wetness is just not doing it for me. But anyway, we have revamped the Silk Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. This is 62 bucks. Weightless SPF 50 mineral sunscreen for enhanced protection against the visible signs of premature aging while rapidly hydrating and evening. <laughs> <laughs> and evening the look of tone over time has new packaging and easier to use applicator okay so i like this sunscreen i thought it was good right but wasn't my favorite it never dethroned my true love super goop well, super goop just makes an amazing fucking spf oil that i i love right but interestingly enough my husband is a fucking bougie boy okay because the only thing that he wants on his face when he leaves the house is tatcha this mother wears tatcha sunscreen okay i mean he's adorable and he deserves everything we need to protect his face from the goddamn sun but that boy has expensive taste <laughs> And the one thing that I just hated about that sunscreen is that the packaging was just so f flimsy. And if it, you kind of tip it over, it could kind of leak out. Super annoying. So anytime that we would like go to Disney, that would be the one sunscreen that we would definitely have for him. I had some spray bullshit, which was man, not really the best whatever, but neither here or there. But him, he would always like reapply with Tatcha and he loved it. So when I told him about it, he was just like, oh. But then when I said, it is revamped, he was like, I don't know. So I'm curious to see. I'm going to pick it up for my baby. Okay. <laughs> Gotta make sure my baby gets what he wants. I want to pick this up. I don't know when this is coming out. Oh, the 18th. Okay. Oh, you know what? I guess we're just going to stay inside and I'll just wait for, it <laughs> for the Sephora sale and get this for 20% uh, off because I, if I could save money, I'd rather save money. But um, <laughs> sorry, Alex. <laughs> you had to slum it with Popper tone. Sorry, bud. Um, but we're going to pick this up though. And I'll let you know, uh, maybe Alex will have like, like a little, uh, a little slot in <laughs> my, one of my weekly videos where we just talk about the products that Alex likes, which I feel like it would just be Tatcha Silk Canvas. And he probably doesn't even know the name of it. He just knows it by purple bottle. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Anyway, I, I love that it's going to be in new packaging. So that makes me very happy. Actually, wait a second. Is it just revamped the packaging? Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I think maybe I'm stupid. I think it's just the packaging that's revamped. I think the formula is fine. I gotta Google. I gotta like look into it. But if that's the case, then we're all good. And now it just looks like a ketchup bottle. 
I'm excited. Either way, we're gonna check this out. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if it works well. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing Alex's corner, maybe a, a five minute spot on some random video where he just talks about the things that he likes, skincare, Ma just really skincare, it's not really makeup, it's just skincare. It, although it would be pretty funny if he's like, you know, I really love this one later. That would kill me, actually. Literally deceased, it'd be Alex's dad. <laughs> Maybe that's what's going on this whole time. Maybe he's just slowly killing me. <laughs> just so that he can have not even moderate YouTube fame. <laughs> Cause I'm a nobody, so. Sorry, Alex, we're not growing over here. <laughs> You're at a dead channel, bud. Anyway, um, I like it. This is cool. I'm into it. We're gonna call this skincare because <laughs> we gotta protect our baby's skin and we're gonna keep on keeping on, all right? Next. Y'all, I love NARS, I do. But then they put out like this <laughs> that confuses me and it just, I don't know. I feel like they're gaslighting me a little bit because I'm like, did you put this out already? What is this? So NARS w has a new like love collection. Like didn't they just do something? Like anyway, so this is the summer 2024 and it's going to launch on April 19th. So we're kind of getting like a little bit of a sneak peek, right? So you have a new Laguna palette that's being released along with eight seduction eyeshadow sticks and more products. So it looks like you have a Laguna ultimate face palette, which is limited edition. Y'all know me. I love their face palettes. I love them. Usually the holiday ones um, are like some of my favorites, but during the year, anytime they kind of put out a base palette, I usually wind up getting and I'm like obsessed with. But anyway, so they have a base palette, then they have the eyeshadow six, and then they have two new shades of powder mattes. Okay. Light reflecting setting powder limited edition, light reflecting blush in a peachy shade, and then a cushion foundation in a limited edition case. Yeah. Um, I feel like this, this is something, didn't they do this? Right? <laughs> like, this looks really familiar. And that's what makes me, like, I love NARS. I love their products. I really do. Like, they make a really good basic bitch eyeshadow. And I love their light reflecting foundation. It's one of the best foundations I've ever tried. And their face palettes, like their blush books. Oh my god, they're good. They're so good. They're so good. I mean, are they a little tired with their orgasm? And like, come on me. You're like, okay, like, I'm over that shit. But they make fun stuff. Not, all right. Fun is, I'm pushing it. All right. <laughs> That's being generous. They make dependable, reliable things that will always make you look good no matter what. But I always have to kind of stop myself and go, do I have this? Do I have this? Do I have, I think I have this. Do I, do I have this? It f me up every time. I get to a point where I'm like, you're with me, right? Like it's kind of almost like the gaslighting of Pat McGrath a little bit where it's just like, no, this is all new baby. And you're like, no, no, you released this two years ago and now you put a sticker on it and they're like what are you talking about you don't know what you're talking about here have 10 percent off and i'm like okay <laughs> and i've had every time like it just it i hate it so that's how i feel about nara sometimes especially when they release stuff like this where it just looks so oddly similar to other things to the point where if i keep thinking about it i'm gonna get a nosebleed and i'm just gonna like just die from an aneurysm <laughs> that's how i feel okay <laughs> that's what's gonna happen gaslighting me. But yeah, here I am thinking, ah, I probably would pick this up. <laughs> I probably will pick this up. I know. I love it. I just, I love NARS. And I feel like I talked a lot of shit about them. And then over the last few years, I've been like, <laughs> LOL. I'm on the other side of 35. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I understand now. Uh, but no, NARS is great. So yes, I mean, I'm into it. I love it. Like you're gaslighting me and you're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me, but I also love it. So that's all I got. Anyway, I'm into it. I love it. But you're gaslighting the shit out of me. But I love you. <laughs> and I'm sorry. That, that's usually how gaslighting works, right? That's pretty much, yep, that's how it works. Okay, uh, next. This scares me. <laughs> this scares the shit out of me. Um, Huda Beauty is coming out with the faux filtered lip gloss. They're $19 a piece. It's coming out on March 13th. The photo that you see here, not the best screen grab. <laughs> not the best screen grab. Um, it's a little like scaring me. It's kind of giving me, it's, it kind of went beyond sucking lips at this point. It's just like vacuum cleaner. Like, like, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> blow up doll kind of lips and I don't really understand what the faux filter lip gloss is and I kind of feel like it is one of those catfish products where it says it's going to do one thing and then it's just going to be a regular gloss. And that's what I feel like happens with Huda's lip products. I never find them to be like amazing. Now Huda comes out with other cool sh right? Hit or miss with the eyeshadow palettes, but the glowish line, glowish line is part of my heart, which now I hear. Well, actually, I don't really know the full story and I gotta like read about it, but like, I don't know. I have a life, so sit on the internet all day. But I think she is no longer the CEO. I think she's no longer the CEO. Baby, is one of you just link me down an article or something or I don't know just sum it up in like two to three sentences think of it like current events okay how what why who where when why how <laughs> I'm trying to remember my days in eighth grade when we had to do like uh current events for like science it was weird like you give anyway so yeah someone just tell me what happened because <laughs> I want to know, but I just don't feel like wasting my time looking up, looking it up. So yeah, I'm lazy. I know, sue me. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this product was initially teased. I think like, I think there's like a picture of her like walking and she's like, <laughs> and like you saw, <laughs> you saw like a box that said faux filter or something on it. Um, and now there's a picture of this lovely person with just the, the, the screen grabs. <laughs> These are just not flattering screen grabs. That would be like my own hell. Just seeing an Instagram post of me making the most f***ed up faces. I don't even send me one. Don't even send me one. I not asking. Don't even send me one. I don't want to see it. I will literally just, I will throw my phone into the f***ing river. Don't even, don't even send me one. Don't you dare. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, this is a catfish product, dude. Like, I don't know. I feel like you're going to get one thing, but we're going to get something else. And they're going to come out and say that like, oh, this is going to be like this really cool thing. But in reality, I think it's just going to be like a just standard lip gloss that nobody really gives a shit about. Can I see it? Is there like any more info about this particular product? Here we go. All right. So this is a nourishing lip gloss that provides eye catching shine formulated with vitamin E and infused with vegan collagen for comfort coverage that moisturizes the lips. While plant derived melted waxes create a rich formula that gives the gloss a cushion like texture and a multi dimensional shine. Okay. All right. Okay. Seven shades, foxy, bombshell, sugar baby. I thought I'd say gassy. I was like, <laughs> me. Glassy, posh, honey, cocoa. Okay. They're weird. So, like, what's the. They're not supposed to make your lips. So why is everybody's lips like big? Wait, what the f Wait, I'm confused. Listen, I love the glow. I think the glow is really, really pretty. But like, also, I don't know, like when you look at it in different models lips, some of them don't really look that great. It looks kind of streaky and kind of like not great. So I kind of stand corrected. I feel like this is kind of like a catfish product. Again, I've never tried like a Huda Beauty lip product that like blew me the f away. Like everything has been like not even mid, like underneath mid. Like keep walking, bitch. Like <laughs> that's how I feel about Huda's lip. So I don't know. I'm gonna say this is a catfish. A, a lot of people are excited about it and I'm happy for you. Like you know, good job, whatever. Enjoy. But yeah, eh, I'm gonna pass. I don't know. There's nothing like super, it's so weird. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the photos. The photos are freaking me out. I think that's what it is. Everything just kind of has also like bloated vinyl dead mouth. I, I don't like this. This is a catfish. I'm good. I'm all sad. Ooh. Next. The next product we have is, oh, hello. Okay. I didn't know they did this. <laughs> okay. How do you pronounce this brand's name? Is it Gisu or Jisu? G-I-S-O-U. Anyway, so they're coming out with two tinted lip oils. I thought they just did hair care. Which by the way, like I wind up actually getting, was it, I got like a little sample or was it like the holidays maybe? Um, when Sephora had like the really cute little gift bags that were like oh, so good. They had one of the Gisu lip, not lip oils, hair oils, right? Did they, is it just hair? Maybe I'm gaslighting myself. Like I don't understand. Wait, <laughs> implanting memories of things? What is this? Hold on. Gis, Gisu. Yeah, it's all hair oils. No, they do have lip oils. What? <gasps> Bitch. Okay. Their hair oil was terrible. It was so bad. It was one of the worst hair oils I've ever tried. 
hated it. That and the K-19. Oh, oh my god. It was, was it the K-19? Was it the... K-18. Whatever. I was one number off. Sue me. That one was terrible too. Very heavy. Mm -mm, not in a good way. Um, so yeah. Oh my god. I didn't realize I had lip oils. Oh, why are the lip oils rated like Well, not really It's like three out of five. Which to me when I see three out of five, I'm like... <laughs> oh, skip. But why is it three out of five? Ooh, a lot of ones. Horrific smell. Ow, did you hear that? That was my bone snapping, which is crazy because I drink plenty of milk. And if you know, you know. Odd smell, not very moisturizing. Beautiful product. Packaging is superb. However, I feel like I need to apply it every 10 minutes. Oh, ew, f that. No, thank you. Smells and tastes so bad. Oh, now I kind of want to because I'm a glutton for punishment, bitch. Okay, don't waste your money. I fell into the hype for the nice looking lip oil. It's not worth your money. Oh, I love how dramatic these are. Makes your lips feel flaky. Ew, after several use and you get tired of the smell of honey because it ain't worth $34. All right, <laughs> I wish I can get my money back. I'm sorry, Bubby, you can't. I mean, you can technically. You could. Unless maybe they don't, you know, live near Sephora. I don't know, whatever. I'm looking too much into it. Then there's some people that are like, this is perfect, five out of five. Okay. Then some people are like, this is gross. My bottle was very grainy and the smell gave me a serious migraine. Oh God. I like the applicator's big and wide. It drives so fast. It's not worth the money. Don't buy terrible. Okay. All right. So I guess we're not going to be looking into this, but, um, yeah, I tried the hair oil and I hated it. <laughs> so no for me. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like the bottle, the bottles, if Ooh, it's, it's giving me life and it kind of, kind of makes me want to buy it because I love the, <laughs> I love the bottle and I realize how stupid that sounds. But then again, look at most of my collection, right? What can I say? I like to waste my money. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's 20,000 people are literally in their pants about this. That's a lot of likes, a lot of likes. So people loving it. People are like obsessed. People are saying it's vegetable oil. <laughs> What? Oh my god. About time. Smells like canola oil. Is canola oil really bad? I mean, coming from a bitch that doesn't have a great sense of smell. Alex, how does canola oil smell? Please insert a clip here. Or don't make me look like an asshole. Whatever. <laughs> Up to you. But no, seriously, please, like, let us know your thoughts. Let me fine. Um, yeah. Someone's getting fired. PR boxes literally say he's not to post anything until March 20th. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, Trenmu does that shit all the time. Are we surprised? <laughs> Seriously. Embargo what? <laughs> anyway, um, I don't even know what that means. Um, these lip oils are really not good for them to be $30. They taste like olive oil. Okay, well, that, at least that's a different kind of an oil. All right. I mean, eh, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. The packaging is like getting to me. It's like, it's starting to like warm its way into my brain. I'm like, I love a wavy bottle. I, it makes me think of like Byredo. Like Byredo makes like not good stuff, but I love their packaging because everything is like, like you know, like weird acid trip and I kind of love it. So it's kind of giving me lava lamp vibes and I'm here for it. So I like it, but now I need to go into a store and smell it. Well, I need to have Alex smell it because I can't smell So the smell wouldn't bother me so much, but unless it's like so strong that other people smell it, then I guess that's no. That's, that's no way to, but I work from home. So only Alex would be smelling my mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. This, this is, I'm just going to shut the f up. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to call this Boosie Makeup Item. Just for the pure fact that it's canola oil. Uh, but no, the, um, the, sh the, the shades are watermelon sugar, mango passion pond, strawberry sorbet. Which I sincerely hope that stuff smells like. Oh, f yeah. It's new and improved with jojoba and meadow foam for more hydration and longer wear. So I guess... They heard everybody's complaints and they actually made it uh, better. So there are two tinted lip oils and then one shimmer. Okay. Hey, listen, I am kind of into this. I'm excited. And I, w I don't know if it's a try for science though. This is more of like, if I remember and I'm in a Sephora and it's during the sale. <laughs> the only time I'm ever going to pick this up. So yeah, um, we're going to call this a Pussy makeup item. And I think I talked enough. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Next. Ooh, okay, so by the time y'all see this, I'm sure, I am sure that it has already um, been announced. But it looks like Nomad Cosmetics is going to be, it's Ireland, right? This has to be Ireland. Has to be. Right? Ireland. Yes, a lot of people are saying 
Ireland in the comments, so that just makes me happy. But no, like what gave it away? Not even just reading any of that. The fact that it, it was like, oh, green. Okay, St. Patrick's Day. Okay, got, got it. And then I see like these little beautiful, like, are they sheeps or rams? Or maybe they're both. No, I think they're sheep. And then it looks like the cliffs, which reminds me, oh God, I love Ireland. I love Ireland. I've only been once and it was, I think I was like, what, 18 going on 19? It was a wild time. <laughs> It was a wild time. I was vacationing with family, got into a lot of trouble, but I had like the best time though. And Irish people, they're, they're just lovely people. And I mean, I'm, I like, I'm, I don't even know what my percentage of Irish, but I'm mostly like Irish and German. So yeah, I'm like, I, I love Ireland. And um, I don't know, it just reminds me of all the stupid things <laughs> that I did. And I'm surprised that I'm alive. That's like a, oh God. <laughs> I may have probably shared a story probably once or twice. Regardless, that's behind a paywall. <laughs> that's behind a paywall, those stories. Um, oh God. Anyway, I loved Ireland and um, this just gets me very excited. <laughs> Oh God. Okay. Am I blushing? I'm blushing. Okay. Anyway, Ireland was a great time. So how about those Knicks, huh? <laughs> Is it even basketball season? I don't even know. Okay, so I love this. I think this is, this is really cool. <laughs> Granted, I only saw four shades, but I, I like the shades. I think they're really pretty. And I'm curious to see what the rest of the palette's gonna look like. I am affiliated with Nomad Cosmetics. I know this palette is gonna be sent to me. If you ever want to buy anything from Nomad Cosmetics, you can use the code Teresa's dead. And you can save 10% off your order. And yes, it is affiliate code. So I do make a small commission if you do use it, but that's, that's up to your own discretion. I just make sure you use some code. Okay. Never buy anything for full price. All right. Did you learn nothing from this channel? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm excited and I kind of hope if it is Ireland, I hope that there is some green in there. Cause I mean, so far, like, obviously you don't want to like give it like a huge, like dead giveaway. Like, yes, the packaging is green. So I mean like, yes, I guess so. But I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of greens are going to be there. But if you've never been to Ireland, it's fucking beautiful. I invite you to go. <laughs> I won't be there, but go check it out. It's a lovely, lovely place. And I hope to one day return there because it was everything I wanted it to be. I've never seen that like color green in my whole life. <laughs> Actually, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon, <laughs> in Ireland, like the, the greens are just like unbelievable. I know, I know. Portland, Oregon, you wouldn't think, but like I, <laughs> the one time I went, it was like so mutant green. I was like, where am I? It's so good. Um, and it wasn't like toxic sludge. It was just, I think from all the rain. <laughs> I want to believe that. I don't know. Anyway, it's beautiful. Um, I'm rambling. We love this. I'm going to say, I actually initially wasn't going to call this anything, but I think just because I got <laughs> just a little flushed, I'm going to call this nostalgia <laughs> because Ireland was a really great time. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll tell some of those stories. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to have to be behind a paywall. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna call it nostalgia because this is uh, giving me all the feels right now. Next. Oh, okay. First of all, I'm about to call Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. Um, this is from Guerlain, right? Guerlain? Girl. I think I say Guerlain. I don't think it's Guerlain. Guerlain. This is their spring collection 2024. I... Uh, okay, first of all, I've never tried their weird Mentos thing. I look at it every time though, and I always kind of want to get it because it reminds me of candy and I just want to eat it. But then I know if I eat it, it's not going to end very well for me. It's either I'm going to have to call poison control or I'm going to be shitting out potpourri beads for the rest of my life. I, I don't know. But the reason why I don't think I'll ever pick up anything from this brand is because I, listen, babies, come closer. I was had, okay? This company released such a beautiful palette, like a beautiful palette. It was just fucking jaw dropping, like just earth shattering, beautiful palette. And so I got the palette and the palettes, they're not cheap. I think they're like 90, 90 bucks or something like that, 80 or $90, not cheap palettes. And I remember this being one of the worst quality eyeshadows I have ever used in my life. There was no pigment, no 
pigment. And I've been told by several people that maybe I got a bad one because apparently it's supposed to be like super pigmented and beautiful and da da da. No, it's not. And from that, I've started this crusade that I'm never going to buy from this brand. However, <laughs> it's one of those things where if I am drunk enough, Yes, I'm definitely picking this up because their stuff is so pretty. I hate how pretty their is, but I want it. And I think I talked to Michelle about this at one point or another. And I think she said the balls are stupid. I, I'm pretty sure she said the balls are stupid. Maybe she didn't say, maybe she didn't say it like that. But I think she said they're sparkly. And maybe I said, that sounds stupid. And she was like, oh. <laughs> how the conversation went but in my mind she said it was stupid so I'm gonna go with that <laughs> but I don't know like I I love the packaging I really do and I think it's so pretty and I kind of want it but it's a drunk purchase it's something that I I can't pick up sober because it would anger me too much but got one more of these thing I'm gonna turn my whole day around <laughs> and I think this is something I would truly pick up but I keep drinking are these out yet Oh, thank God. <laughs> It'd be like, T -t 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 -t. guess what's coming? Um, no, this is cute. I like it, but I hate it. But I like it. I just want the Mentos thing. It looks so fun and fancy. And it's like the kind of a thing that I would like want. I'd say I want my ashes. <laughs> no, I need something bigger than that. And something that has like a lid that like seals properly. No, I'd be bad. <laughs> It feels like it's going to be too flimsy for my ashes. All right, scratch that from the record. We're not buying it, but maybe we are. Maybe we are. I know. I kind of want to buy them now. <laughs> okay. 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 Maybe thank everything right now that it's not available. This is a drug purchase, babe. <laughs> and, uh, the more I'm rationalizing in my head is actually kind of scary. Okay. <laughs> Next. I want this. It's so stupid. It's so gimmicky. It feels like it's made for 10 year olds. And here I am looking at it. And this is from Milk Makeup. Okay. <laughs> so Milk Makeup is coming out with the Cloud Glow Foam. That sounds so stupid. First of all, when I saw this, I was like, oh, they came out with the cleanser. Cool. All right. I would probably pick that up. And then I'm like, oh, no. It reminds me of that weird time. Was it like during the pandemic when they came out with like, was it Morphe? Was it the foam primer or something like that? I don't, or was it the pandemic? Honestly, things are such a blur. Everything blends together. But there was a period of time when it was just like all weird primers. Like, oh, the wackier, the better. Like everything had to be like, I don't even know, just ridiculous and like textured and all kinds of shit. And it just, honestly, it's just so stupid. Like it's just dumb, which actually feels like it's kind of par for the course because every couple of years, things kind of like cycle back, right? And they come back into swing. And so maybe right now we're in like the weird primer era, you know, or just things that are really meant for 10 year olds. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so this is a skincare, skincare makeup hybrid that's geared towards no makeup makeup looks, enhances, moisturizes, and even skin tones, allowing your natural glow to shine, applies clear, then creates a breathable and smooth base. The f does that even mean? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I imagine I'm massaging it and disappears and then it goes and then it creates a force field barrier on my skin. Like that is the description that you're giving it to me. And it's getting me so excited. So excited. I love it. Okay, so this is formulated with, what is that word? Sativus? Sativus? What, I don't know, what the, what the f does that mean? An apricot extract. Okay, what is sativus? Hold on, am I pronouncing that correctly? Probably not. Sativus. Sativus? Pronounced words in the world like this other curious word, but how do you say what you're looking for today? We are looking at how to pronounce Cucumus, sativus, cucumus, sativus, cucumus, sativus. Here are more videos on how to pronounce more confusing words and names. Too many mispronounced like these. First of all, can I have that man follow me around everywhere I go? I'm sorry, sir, sir. <laughs> I was not even anywhere close to pronouncing that correctly. Wow. Seriously, I need that man to follow me everywhere. Oh my God. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, listen, I, this is like gimmicky bullshit, but I'm kind of into it. I'm all drunk. What am I going to say? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little drunk. Okay. <laughs> so everything's kind of sounding really good right now, but I like it. But then I'm also like, this is 
stupid and gimmicky and just who is this for it's for children clearly the children it's it's kind of like you might actually kind of sucks that i really do like the milk makeup jelly the jelly boys or whatever a lot of people hate them and because they feel like they've been lied to by influencers which is funny <laughs> far for the course right can't trust them influencers don't trust us um but i kind of really like I say cloud makeup. I don't even know the name of this brand. Milk makeup called cloud. They're now called cloud makeup, everybody. That's what we're going to refer to them as cloud makeup. Uh. <laughs> But this is another product though that is coming soon in March. I'm gonna buy it during a Sephora sale because that, like, no, I no, I run, I run to get this like 20% off. Like, oh, what's that? Um, but I'm curious. I'm curious. This again just feels like everything old is new again, and we are ushering the era of just weird <laughs> texture. And uh, listen, the makeup is kind of boring, right? So we need conversation pieces, and I feel like this is one of them. I hope that makes. <laughs> sound smart and I'm not. <laughs> what am I calling this? <laughs> it's stupid and I want it because I'm stupid and I want it. Next. So the next product is from, oh, it's from Gourmand Girls. And this is with Steph's Beauty Stash. And if you don't know Stephanie, she is a lovely creator. I'll link her down below. Go check her out. She's very, very sweet. She's always been very, very nice to me. And I appreciate it. So thank you. <laughs> Anyone who's nice, I love you forever. Um, but Steph came out with this really beautiful palette called Nueva Vida. And um, I'm not going to lie, though. I, I do own one Gourmand Girls palette. Heard nothing but good things. And um, when I did pick it up, I got sick. And then we were moving. And then I never thought about it again. <laughs> Sorry. So I need to be better at that and actually go play with that palette just to see if I like the quality and if I like the quality then this is something I'll definitely pick up uh, because one I like to support fun creators and two I love a good palette and I really do like this color story I think it's really cute I love the greens in it I actually really like that bright orange I think this is a lot of like kind of just fun funkiness to this palette that is a nice refreshing change right even though I am a basic ass bitch and blah, 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 blah. it's always nice to see a fun colorful palette and uh this one just looks really cute so I like it and um yeah so now I need to go try the Gourmand Girls one and see if I love it and then uh go check it out but um yeah so congratulations Stephanie this is adorable and amazing and I really have to say I love seeing creators in my community i.e like the small micro influencers or whatever everyone that's like not a million and a half subscribers and like that the ones that are in the smaller communities get these like really cool opportunities and it's just it's awesome it's so awesome to see you know so I love seeing indie brands pair up with smaller influencers it's just it's nice it's really nice you know it's actually really cool for the creator especially like for a small creator who thinks like oh like this is never gonna happen for me and then something like this happens it's like no matter what your numbers are right that you have like this really cool opportunity that no one can take away from you and so that's cool so stephanie like i love this for you this is awesome so congratulations my dear and i think what i'm going to call this is all the multi-chromes because within this 14 pan is it 14 no it's 12 i can't even count 12 pan palette you have seven mattes one satin two multi-chromes and two duochromes so i'm going to say all the multi-chromes even though there's only two all the multi-chromes next We have another indie brand. We have Adept Cosmetics. Ooh, okay. Okay, so Adept Cosmetics is coming up with the palette Cyborg Choir. I have no idea what the it looks like in the inside. All I see is some sort of concept art that looks bananas. And then it's like a cotton candy dream. It reminds me of Laura Lee palette with her niece, uh, kind of a background. I have no idea what the is going on and I kind of want it to look more like the photo and not like the outside packaging. Well, although I do like the outside packaging, I think there is something to be said about bright neon colors. And now that we're going into spring, I want to see more bright neon colors. No, no pastels. F you and your pastels. I want neon wild, just crazy I want something bright and fun and neon that like in the dark you could still f see me wearing it. That's what I want and that's what I hope this palette's gonna be. But I don't know shit about it and that's all I got. So I think the most appropriate square is probably gonna be don't f 
it up because I don't want you to fuck it up. So adapt, please don't fuck it up. And um, I'm going to be curious to see uh, when this uh, has a little bit more information, but please let it look like the stock photo. If not, that is a huge upset. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to call it don't fuck it up. So please just don't fuck it up. Next. I am confused, but also titillated from this one. So I was about to say Sun Kisser. That's the name of the product. I was about to say that's the brand name. <laughs> okay. Maybelline is coming out with, oh wait, more liquid blushes. Wait, th these things have already come out? I have never seen that. The lies. This is a lie. What do you lie? Lie. What do you mean more? These things exist? I'm sorry. What? What? I can't even. Hold on, I need to read this. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So this is the Sun Kisser Blusher, an easy to use liquid blush that provides a natural sun kiss glow. The formula blends seamlessly with all skin tones and leaves skin feeling breathable and moisturized. Feels light on the skin and looks fresh. Up to 20 hour wear for a natural sun kiss glow. Easy application with large wand applicator. Vegan in shades, blazing blush, soul search. <laughs> That's adorable. Shades on, summer in the city, city sizzle, and electric bronze. Okay. One, why the it in the lip gloss packaging. That's number one. Number two, some of the shades kind of look the same, so that's kind of really f***ing off-putting. Are you sure this is not lip gloss? Because <laughs> the f***ing sparkle looks like lip gloss. I'm sorry, but this is not lip gloss. Three, I don't know how I feel about this because it, some of the pictures of the models with it look so weird like it looks matte like it looks dried down like paint it doesn't look breathable or moisturized it doesn't look anything like that some are kind of confusing because some of them look like highlighters what the f is <laughs> what is this this is a f this is weird are you sure it's not a lip gloss because i feel like this is a lip gloss also why wouldn't you change the packaging up that's odd right probably like oh god all right we got a <laughs> case of these let's open them up but I mean I like it though but like it's also kind of confusing I am so intrigued I don't know like this is just such a weird product I don't know if um the pigments there because it's odd like some shades just hold on wait a second formula blends seamlessly with all skin tones I call bullshit because I feel like okay so for the one example the blazing blush okay the model with the deepest skin that doesn't look good it looks kind of like Pepto-Bismol, <laughs> but dried down. It looks okay, like, on the fairest person um, on this picture. But then it kind of looks a little bit weird on, like, the medium. I don't understand. And it's, like, uh, it's freaking me out. <laughs> like, this is, like, it's not computing. Okay. Um, And then some of the colors, like, Soul Search looks very different on all skin tones. Like, it's, they're weird i don't know i don't know oh electric bronze that looks like a bad spray tan on the lightest <laughs> that does not ooh. okay summer in the city summer in the city looks kind of cute but then it looks kind of orangey what the f okay city sizzle city sizzle is another one that kind of just looks i don't know it looks weird i don't understand this i don't get it but i kind of need to try it though this is like one of those like buying it for science because we need to get to the bottom of this case of why is it in a f lip gloss component, number one. And number two, is this even like meant for everybody? I don't know. I feel like this is, I feel like I'm going to call bullshit because I don't think it's meant for everybody. I think they're like trying to make it seem like this is much cooler than what it is. Okay. But anyway, I like Maybelline. I think they're fun. They're fun. <laughs> and I'm curious to try these, but these are revealed. So who the f no, this one are going to be coming uh, to your local drugstore or Target or Walmart or whatever. So we're going to have to be on the lookout for that. But um, we're going to call it trying for science because we've got, we've got to get to the bottom of this case. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Just in time for another one as I go to bed. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below uh, if you are picking out any of this makeup or if you even give a f about it. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else fun to say. Oh, 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 oh. Probably the worst time to mention this while I'm kind of like 
but whatever. Um, next Friday, my mom's in town. So there's gonna be no makeup bingo. She comes in like Wednesday or whatever. So uh, we're gonna be out and about like two little cuties. Okay. So I am gonna have a video for Friday, but it's actually gonna be, I'm gonna be doing this video like maybe once or twice a month. And it's called like last call. It's kind of like hangover, except I'm gonna have like two weeks worth. Since I've been doing makeup bingo every week, whatever we didn't pull today and the stuff that we didn't pull last time I'm gonna do a video kind of just talking about my my thoughts because a lot of y'all have been asking like oh you didn't pull this like what about this one and I'm like y okay like okay okay so we're gonna try it out we're gonna see how it works um there's not gonna be a bingo card but it's probably gonna be just me probably uh day drinking and shooting from the hip so let's see how that goes it should be a barrel of laughs <laughs> but um yeah be on the lookout for that and um I also have a really fun surprise for I'm not even gonna say anything. I wanna keep that to myself. Never mind. Anyway, um, that's all I got for you. Uh <laughs> all I got for you. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, the rides, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but disgusting overall garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you and I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, which if I remember, but we know that it's the Italian spread size channel ballot. But the rest of the stuff I will link down below and um, go check it out or don't. I really don't give a f And I will see y'all on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. I'll see y'all on Sunday. Bye.